Hello, my name is Jacob, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a test server for Dreamweaver. So first off, this is for Mac OS X users. I'm going to be using MAMP. You can get WAMP if you're using Windows or LAMP if you're using Linux, but MAMP is what most people use on the Mac. So just go to MAMP.info and that'll take you here and then you just go to downloads and download and it will download this package that I've already downloaded and you can open that up and it'll run you through the setup process once it's all set up you go into applications and you'll find MAMP there it is and inside this MAMP folder, there's this htdocs. This is the default document root where the server's running for your local host. If you want to change that, you can in the settings. And I have actually, I'll show you in a minute. So after you open MAMP, you're going to see this. If you go to preferences and web server, you can change your document root. So I just put mine as documents working files inside the user folder and hit OK. And so then you just press this button right here to start the server. Mine's already running, so I'm going to leave that on. So now that your server's running, you're good to go. We're going to go over to Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new file. Just make a basic HTML file and I will say hello world. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go to my working files and make a new folder called my new website. And I'm going to make this index.html, which would be the default page that loads when somebody would, would go to this website and I'm gonna save it in there. Now I'm gonna go to site, manage sites, and I'm gonna go new, my new website, or whatever you wanna call your site, and then for the local site folder, just wanna navigate to that folder. And then in servers, just wanna add a new server, and I'm going to choose local network and I'm going to go to this chooser and again choose the my new website folder and the local URL is going to be localhost colon 8888 it's the port number default and then I'm going to choose my new website that's the folder inside the local host and that should be it. I can name this my new website or whatever I want and hit save. Now instead of remote I'm going to change this to testing and then I hit save and done. And now when I go up here and I say preview in Chrome or use the key command there's my site, Hello World, a very basic page. Now, it's cool because if I were to go in here and say I wanted to add some background to the body. Let's see. Background. We'll just make it black and then we'll make the we'll make the text oh, wait. What am I doing? We'll make the text white 
Now I can just save this. I don't have to upload it or anything. And when I preview it, there it is instantly. My changes are live. So it's very useful for web development. Be able to do it on your local machine before you up ever upload it to the web. And so yeah, I hope that's been helpful for you. Please like this video and subscribe for more. And you can check out my portfolio at bluelotusmedia.com. And if you're in the market for a website, I recommend DreamHost for a live host. I'll put a link for that in the description. You can get your domain name and hosting through them. And uh, yeah, otherwise have a great day. And until next time, I'm Jacob Lewis.